Okay, welcome back. We're going to continue doing some examples of some binomial expansions or binomial products. So the first one, just let's throw in a negative x minus 2, x plus 5. All right. So again, you get used to it more and more, but this takes just practice basically to do that. Remember, drawing little arrows might be helpful at the start or if you can track it. So we've got this one and then this one. So if we do that, if I write it down in full, we're going to do x times x plus, now it's plus because x times 5. All right. Now the next one is important. We've got minus 2 here. Minus 2 times x. So that's what we're going to do. Minus 2 times x and then minus 2 times 5 plus 5. If I do the work on this, x squared plus x times 5 is 5x, minus 2 times x is minus 2x, and then minus 2 times 5 is minus 10. All right, so we're expanding it out, which is equal to x squared plus 3x minus 10, because 5x minus 2x is 3x. Again, we see that a binomial product turns into a quadratic expression. Now, we can also then vary it up a little bit more. I'm going to do three examples here. If I said, okay, well, what if I had 2x plus 3, bracket, 3x minus 1? Okay, so we've got something like this. So again, same process. We just go through it and we do... First, outside, inside, last, and we just follow that through. So if I was to go through that, we could say, okay, well, it's equal to 2x times 3x. That's the first one. First two terms are multiplied together. Then we get 2x times minus 1. Then we get 3 times 3x. And then I get 3 times minus 1. And if I then do that, we just kind of simplify. We get 6x squared. 2 times 3 is 6. x times x is x squared. Then I get 2x times minus 1. That becomes minus 2x. The negative 1 flips the sign. Then I have 3 times 3x. That's over here. That's plus 9x. 3 times 3 is 9. And then the x term it just stays like that. And then I would have 3 times minus 1 would be minus 3. Last step to simplify. 6x squared stays the same. Minus 2x plus 9x is plus 7x minus 3. Again, a binomial product. We've expanded out and then we get to that. Now, there's two more things that we want to talk about. The first one is to be able to substitute values in and uh, work out what expressions have what value they have. So, let's have a look. If x is equal to, let me move this up. If x is equal to minus 4, and, well, let's just leave it at x. I'm sure we can just use this one. If x equals minus 4, find the value of x plus 3 4 plus 3 is minus 1, times minus 4 minus 5 is minus 9. When I multiply minus 1 and minus 1, I should forget 9. Alright, then let's try to get x squared minus 3x plus 2. Now, actually, from the recent assessment, this is relevant, because we had a few issues, which I'll talk about. 
When I substitute a negative into a squared, we've got to be careful to bracket it in. Minus 4 squared, that's my x squared, minus 3, bracket, minus 4, plus 2. Now, when I square it, minus 4 squared, without using brackets, it will put the negative after you squared it, which gives you minus 16, but that's wrong. We're squaring a negative, so that should be positive 16. Minus 3 times minus 4 is plus 12 plus 2. 28 plus 2, and so that gives us a value of 30. Okay, so that's the kind of good example of substituting it in and making sure we do that. The final example I want to do just has a couple of other things added in. So I'm going to just throw something in for us to have a look at. All right, so here's the thing. If I go like this, Let's say we've got, this is number four. Let's say I've got this, four x minus x plus two, x plus four. Now I've got, basically this question has two parts and we wanna expand and simplify is what I should say. Expand and simplify. So if I expand and simplify this, We've got this part, which I'm going to deal with separately. Once I've got that, I've got a negative out the front to do it. So, this is going to be equal to 4x minus... Now I'm going to just put in big brackets what we're going to do next. And if I go back to this one, remember, first, outside, inside, plus... So we have x times x, x squared, x times 4... Be careful, all positive, which is nice. 2 times x is the next one. And then 2 times x, 2 times 4. Sorry, 2 times 4, which is x. And so again, the 4x minus all this stuff, I'm going to leave it, put it in brackets. x squared plus 4x, x times 4 is 4x. 2 times x is 2x plus 8. So now you can do this quicker once you get used to it. I would certainly do that, but for the moment, 4x plus 2x is 6x plus 8. Now, here we need to deal with simplifying it. When we have something in brackets like we do here, and we have a negative sign out the front, it's going to make everything inside the brackets negative. And I will do it in general. Inside the brackets, the opposite sign. So in this case, x squared is positive, 6x is positive, 8 is positive. So the negative would make, because it's like I'm multiplying by negative 1 on each term, this would become 4x minus x squared minus 6x minus 8. If it was a positive sign at the front, that would all stay positive. We're almost there. 4x minus 6x is negative 2x minus x squared minus 8. And convention has it that we start with the squared term minus 2x minus 8. So there we have it. That's kind of a few steps there, but get today, get clear on how to do expansion. Let's have a look together. We're going to have a go at this exercise, which is exercise 7a. Exercise 7a from question 7. 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, so this is exercise 7a. This is a core skill you need to be really confident about. 7 to 11, A, C, E, etc. You can't get enough practice of this. This is a key concept. So please work on that, have that completed to see how we go. Okay, thanks.